last tutorial we have gone through controller modeling to see that tutorial please press on the i button in this tutorial we will see plant modeling so let's get started with the intro now we will uh, go through the plant modeling and different um, aspects of plant modeling yeah plant uh, will also work same as a controller in the way it takes the input and uh, it uh, gives the output here the uh, situation will be a little bit uh, reversed and uh, while uh, uh, controller is taking the uh, current distance as an input uh, and uh, acceleration as the output the plant will uh, take Here uh, we will go through the plant modeling and how a plant uh, model is being used in a state flow environment uh, or a simulating environment uh, to interact. Um, uh, usually the plant model takes the acceleration as an input which is given from the state flow chart and uh, the plant model will give uh, the distance as the output. Here the plant is considered to be the vehicle uh, which uh, we are uh, sitting on and uh, it sensor output which gives the corresponding measurements. So uh, basically uh, when we try to go through the plant model uh, we need to do the analysis and build the uh, right plant model how it should uh, behave and how to see it should act. Uh, it should act more likely to a real uh, scenario or a system behavior suppose v1 is the uh, vehicle 1 vehicle speed and uh, vehicle 2 vehicle speed can be considered as v2 and uh, suppose d is the distance between the these two vehicle uh, while they are moving so uh, when uh, we have considered a basic um, principle of kinematics then uh, we can consider like wake, uh, velocity is equal to uh, d by t where t is the distance and uh, when v1 minus v2 is considered it is called a relative velocity so in this case v is the relative velocity that we have considered that also will be equal to d my d by t which is the difference uh, which is the distance between these uh, two vehicles so mm, considering that uh, if we try to calculate the uh, vehicle distance that is the distance between uh, mm, two vehicles then we can consider uh, it uh, v2 minus v1 into t so some of the consideration for the model that is d is the distance between the two vehicles uh, v1 is the vehicle of the first vehicle uh, v1 is the velocity of the first vehicle v2 is the velocity of the second vehicle a is the acceleration of the vehicle 1 which can be um, considered uh, in between 0 to 100 km per uh, second and uh, some of the assumptions that we have considered in building the model is uh, we have considered that initial distance between the two vehicles will be one meter and uh, initial velocity of vehicle v1 equal to 100 km per hour and uh, the uh, initial velocity v2 uh, will be 50 km per hour distance uh, d is updated in every sample time as uh, we are dealing with a uh, discrete system in the computer uh, because state flow logic will be placed uh, inside a computer which will be sampling the distance uh, in every uh, sample time and will update the measurements uh, by time so basically while going through the plant model uh, we have considered uh, the above equation and we have uh, we have considered the equation that we have mentioned here uh, that is this one 
and uh, we have built uh, the uh, plant model so here uh, as you can see that distance we need to measure the distance can be uh, the distance bit uh, the distance uh, can be updated uh, with the help of uh, this uh, delay logic and then um, uh, we we have considered a as the acceleration so uh, acceleration uh, when we integrate it we get the velocity v2 then uh, we already have the velocity v1 from our vehicle so we got the uh, two vehicle velocity difference which will be represented uh, as v2 minus v1 then uh, we divide it by time then we get it uh, as the current distance that is updated in the system so that distance will be updated here suppose uh, uh, this distance current distance is plus one then uh, next if it becomes zero uh, then uh, the distance will be subtracted and will be updated in the uh, system uh, which will be represent as an output uh, that is through d so here uh, as you can already here uh, you have uh, we have considered this as uh, input and this as the output as per the our discussion uh, that uh, for the plant model and uh, our equation for the model will be uh, v2 minus v1 by t equal to d here d is the distance that is measured uh, with the help of the plant model and uh, this one uh, will be uh, directed to the controller uh, which uh, will be updating uh, the uh, distance for the uh, state flow suppose uh, at current time instance I have a hundred meter distance and uh, uh, my vehicle accelerate and the distance here uh, the relative distance that I am calculating suppose uh, this will be the hundred meter and uh, the distance that I am calculating with the help of relative velocity will come as minus 10 then at the current uh, state it will be 90 uh, it will be 90 after uh, one sample time so here distance is being updated in this way and uh, uh, it is uh, updated to the state flow chart next uh, we will take an overview of what we have gone through uh, we have gone through the plant model uh, modeling equations and we have uh, seen how actually the scenario looks like uh, for the model and um, uh, we have mimicked uh, this particular situation into the equation then uh, we have considered these following assumptions uh, and uh, consideration for building our model then uh, we have gone through building the model and uh, we have concluded uh, that uh, input is uh, coming from the controller and uh, output uh, will be going into the controller and uh, uh, we have uh, gone through all this uh, as a summary then uh, we will be building uh, our uh, state flow model along with the plant model with the help of uh, this requirement document and um, we will link individual uh, requirement into the uh, modeling environment and we will uh, see whichever the requirements are being linked or not linked so uh, uh, based on this requirement document we will continue further on uh, for our modeling in MATLAB but the modeling will be uh, 
in this way only we will just uh, represent these uh, things in the state flow and try to simulate the um, build model for the cruise control